What's going on, YouTubers? Allow me to give you this WWE. Well, <laughs> sorry, folks. Um, I try to you know do something a little different here. What comes to saying hello to you all, but you know, maybe, maybe just stick with the original. Let me just say, welcome everyone to the WWE 205 Live review. The show from August 17, 2018. I almost said 20. Uh, I think I almost said 17th there. Not no, not we're not there yet. And no. Anyways, so yeah, uh, WWE 205 Live review from August 7th, 2018. You have commentators, um, Vic Joseph, Nigel McGinnis, and Percy Watson. So let's get started with this. Uh, also, to let you all know, um, for 205 Live, they were in Orlando, Florida. Just like your SmackDown was after SmackDown was over, because what comes to SmackDown after SmackDown finishes straight to the WWE Network live um, at 10 o'clock is the WWE 12 Live show. So basically, yeah, same place, same arena. So we get Norman Dar versus Sean Malula, and the match itself was well, was, was pretty decent. Uh, basically, it's a showcase, you know, uh, Norman Dar, who just came back, you know, after that, that injury that he suffered, the knee injury that he suffered, uh, uh, he, need, he needed surgery. And while the match is going on, you got TJP backstage watching on and watching his phone. Basically, he has no interest. Basically, it's going to be a match, uh, again, between Norman Dar and TJP, the rubber match. Uh, Norman Dar won, won his match when, when he uh, beat TJ, TJP when he returned, you know, when Norman Dar returned. And then TJP got the win um, back from him, which it was, it was a longer match um, than it was when Norman Darby turned. And they're going to uh, wrestle again. When are they going to wrestle again? I don't know yet. Maybe at the SummerSlam. That's my guess. But we'll see. But, um, but yeah. Um, but in the end, Norman Darby wins the match with the, 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 Nomo, uh, the Noah Rolla. The, no, the Noah Rolla. Which is um his the running, um kick that he does, or or, or that um, that uh, I think I think uh, he he misses shit his um his shin or his knee something like that but. Uh but uh basically yeah no matter I wins the match, and there you go. After the match we get, general manager two hundred five live general manager, Jake Maverick. Uh yeah he confronts, uh Mustafa Ali backstage about, um you know. If he's sure about having this match against Hideo Tommy in the main event, and then Mustafa Ali said he's got this nerd thing, um, and then basically Drake Maverick tried to talk him out of it, you know, try to reason with him, try to talk talk him out of it and all that, and then um, Mustafa Ali said, you know, I got this. Uh, he said he know what he's well, what uh, Hideo Tommy is capable of. He's a dangerous man, know that, but he's got he's got this. He's not. He's like uh, basically uh, saying that he lives the, he lives um, the face of danger or something like that. So, so basically that's what happened. And before we get to the match, also we get to um, a promo by Sutter Alexander, uh, who's the WWE Cruiserweight Champion. It's basically a salty promo that he did, talking about you know, uh, Jack, um, you know, gentleman Jack out here taking a shot, um, a cheap, a cheap shot at him, and then you know, basically talking to um, to Drew, uh, Drew Gulak about he's going, he's going to um, get to him, and then he talks about how. Br D. Brown Kendrick who, who couldn't get the job done, so they had to have the German Jack Gallagher, you know, to be the guy to uh to sneak, do a sneak attack, and it's not gonna it's not gonna be anything because um he's gonna overcome you know you know the, you know German Jack Gallagher, then he's gonna um go after Drew Gulak at SummerSlam. So after that, we get to a promo from Drew Gulak, and basically he talks on behalf of the um uh I mean German Jack Gallagher for a little bit. Uh, basically, he did all the talking, and also you had D. Brian Kendrick. You know, basically you had D. Brian Kendrick, the gentleman Jack Gallagher, and Drew Gulak there. But Drew Gulak was doing all the talking, and basically Drew Gulak uh, in a suit and all that. Uh, so it's gentleman Jack Gallagher, but uh, D. D. Brian Kendrick is, is in his um, jacket with no shirt on, you know. Um, but basically, it talks about how you know gentleman Jack Gallagher is going to take, it's going to take, it's going to take care of Cedric Alexander, and said that how Cedric Alexander is stupid to uh, to to uh, to even um, you know. You know, to challenge uh, German Jack Gallagher, knowing that uh, during you know during that that final week, 
until SummerSlam, he's going to be facing Drew Gulak, a fresh Drew Gulak. And he's like, you know what? Um, because you're a fine champion and all that, you're talking about you're uh, you're you're gonna you 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 do whatever it takes to um uh, you know to, to to fight for what's right. Um, go right ahead. And he's like, and then he's um talking about he, he's he's fighting for what's right. What comes to um making a better two or five live. And basically said to him, you know, after um what gentleman Jack got her does to him at SummerSlam, uh, basically what comes to Drew Gulak at SummerSlam, that Cedric Alexander will tap out. And that was and that was the promo. Uh, there was nothing about uh, Akira Dozawa or or there was nothing about uh, Leo Rush. I guess they'll say that for next week. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't remember if they mentioned that on the show or not. But uh, but also because he did a Tommy, you know, he's a uh, kind of promo in Japanese, and he's still talking about. Uh, and then he talks in English that uh, Mustafa Ali he will respect you know him you know. So we get to the match. Uh, Hideo Tommy versus Mustafa Ali. Great match. Um, you know Mustafa Ali. You know he's, he's, show, he's showcasing what he can, what what uh, well any offense that uh, Hideo Tommy can do to him, he can he can overcome it. And Mustafa Ali showing uh, how much how uh, once again how he is the heart of two or five live. Uh, but basically in this match, Hideo Tommy was kicking, was kicking his ass with all these these stiff kicks and the, you know doing these these strikes that on um, that Hideo Tommy is known um of being. Um, it was just insane. You know, Mr. Fali is you know flying over over the place on uh, to Hideo Tommy, you know, and getting some uh, comeback offense. Uh, and then uh, all of a sudden, we get to the finish where. You know, basically, uh, like I said, Hideo Tommy is um decimating, uh, Mustafa Ali. I just remember uh, uh, something was uh, was involved that you know in a way to to pr- protect Mustafa Ali you know uh, in in that in the uh, protect you know protective loss you know. Um, I just remember uh, there was a steel step involved or something about the ring apron. Oh yeah, it was the turnbuckle. The turnbuckle, um, I think, uh, was a factor of Mustafa Ali losing here. Not, no, not, not, not just because of the turnbuckle that like, he did. Some, uh, you know, having crutch first onto it. You know, you know, um, have making fall crutch on on the turnbuckle. Like, you know, like, yeah, it's been uh, that spot's been done for years in wrestling. But Mustafa Ali was saying the fact that uh, he was going to he was going to finish off he did time with the um, the O five four right. All of a sudden, he started losing his balance. Because he, you know, because he took so much punishment from Hideo Tommy, from the head, obviously too, and and Hideo Tommy took advantage of it, and then it goes for his his, his brutal running kick to uh, to secure the win over Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali again in the protective loss there, you know. So um, so yeah, Hideo Tommy wins the match, and after the match, uh, Mustafa Ali uh was unable to uh, get out, to get out the ring. At one point he was uh he was standing, and then he falls down onto the ropes. We get general manager to a uh, the, the, you know, the German manager of 205 Live, Drake Maverick, coming out. And the call was to uh, uh, officials check out what's going on with Mustafa Ali. We see a couple of commentators stand, stand up a uh, concern. Uh, I think it was, per- I, I think it was uh, Brady, uh, I mean, Percy Watson, and uh, I think Vic Joseph may have uh, stand up a little bit too. Uh, you know, in concern of Mustafa Ali, and that's how the show ends. Basically, uh, that's, what they, that's the storyline they did here. Um, the, 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 uh, that Mustafa Ali... Um, was unable to uh, get uh, to to leave um, the ring um, because he was so brutally beaten by uh, by you know by Hideo Tommy like literally literally getting beaten um, by by uh, Hideo Tommy and then, yeah that that was great and a great a great nice story turn there from Mustafa Ali he's very very good at it to me what comes to tool, uh, what comes to Mustafa Ali. Uh, I know how they, I know how, you, you know how they always say that he's the uh, the, the heart of two or five live. But um, well, besides that, to me he's the Seth Rollins of two or five live. Yeah, 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 I could tell um, just by the way that um, how he how he, um, he he carries himself, how he put how he puts these, these great matches and 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 also the um, the outfit that he wears too is similar to Seth Rollins. So, to all my wrestling for two or five live from. Uh, August 7th, 2018. Two matches, uh, unfortunately. So my oral training for the show, I'm going to go 7 out of 10. 
7 out of 10 show is, is what I'll go for. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Robert Serrano Jr., Natural Born Driller. Please subscribe and take a shot with the Natural Born Driller. Yes, yeah, finally got my own. I got my shot glass back. And it feels so good. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. The choice is yours and yours alone. And with that being said, you all take care. And peace on the streets. I'm out.